The move comes four days after the last phase comment that provoked a fire storm. In an era of media consolidation and globalization, the PEG channels root our media in local communities, in local voices, and that is absolutely indispensable. A lot of people are able to get job, job training, information, just from using public access. This is about the arts. This is about accessibility. This is about transparency. Great youth media programs, programs giving people second chances in being able to learn new skills. PEG stations give viewers critical information about their communities and offer an important platform for local residents. PEG channels connect us to our communities and they enrich our lives every single day of the year. The FCC should work for communities, not powerful cable companies. This battle is a lot like the fight for net neutrality. Net neutrality is really about every voice, no matter how small, being heard. The same is true here with the PEG channels. The main threat facing media centers nationwide is that the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, is going to redefine how we receive our funding. It will impact the people who we're trying to serve. They were actually paying for us in their cable bill. Um, and now all of a sudden the cable operator is taking their money, then deducting it from us. They cannot be in a position where they basically force the shuttering of peg channels all across our country. We need Congress to tell the FCC that they're out of bounds. It's pretty clear to me that the FCC is an agency that does the public's will begrudgingly. And it fits and starts. We're talking about supporting causes, charities, education, youth, seniors, democracy. This is not a left issue. This is not a right issue. This is an everybody issue. If you care about protecting local community access television, raise your voices.